one in five people. That is the number of adults in the United States who live with some form of a mental illness. Which means that, you know what, that can be your aunt, your mother, your father, you know, your niece, your best friend, right? And so for us not to put the effort to understand this a little more or to become mental health first aiders. You know, we know that folks are, are know what to do if someone's having a heart attack, but do you know what to do if someone's having a panic attack? Similar to taking first aid or CPR training, Compia's mental health first aid course teaches you how to help someone experiencing a mental health challenge or crisis. I have taken the training and I am a mental health first aider. Arlene Adams is the administrator of Project Aware at City of Buffalo Schools. I've taken the training, my team has taken the training, as well as a large majority of the staff at Burgard High School. The outward manifestations of trauma that students have suffered may look differently. So it's important for us as educators to, to be able to know and identify um, some of these issues. It gives you tools. So I think we naturally tend to shy away from approaching someone who we may suspect is having some challenges because we just don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. When we know what to say and we know what to do, we feel more confident in our approach. Anybody can take the training. Yeah, so the training is designed for people ages 18 and over. It's designed for anybody in the community, whether it's related to your profession or not. With one in five people living with a mental health challenge, we are all going to be exposed to somebody, a loved one, a family member, a neighbor, a coworker. You know, going through this training allowed me to see trigger points, allowed me to see things that I may have not necessarily always been aware of. It was just common things that we do, common things that we say that could actually hurt the situation rather than helping the situation, even though we're well-intentioned. Overall, it was a really good training. It was very practical. Some of the teachers said that it's one of the best trainings that they have ever taken. Sometimes it's as simple as that if you do have to call 311 or 911, to call them with the right information. Would you like to see everyone in Western New York do this first aid training? I would love to see everyone partake in being a mental health first aider. I think when we talk about first aid, it gives a connotation of helping. Right. Um, and I think, you know, we are a city of good neighbors. Uh, we understand what it is to help. And the more educated that we all are, the better off our community can be. Sign me up. How do we sign up if we want to take part in the training? Does it cost anything? So right now we have some um, excellent funding to be able to provide this training at no cost to everyone in our community. Another option is you can help coordinate one for your church or your workplace, and we can do a group training for a specific um, targeted group. You can take the course in person or via Zoom. Sign up online at compiabuffalo.org. Mental health first aid training allows me to become a first responder when it comes to mental health. Isn't that awesome? Mel, it's so powerful to have that training, to have that toolkit to recognize when someone's having, you know, this mental health issue it is, is so vital. When we, again, look at those statistics, I think we all need that toolkit uh, to be a part of our radar. Tonight, I'm going to have a story on mental health in children airing at six, and it looks specifically at the effects that middle schoolers are having. I actually hooked up with a woman, a young woman who is now in college in New York City, and she is from the New York City area, but she wrote this really powerful story about how she was crying out for help when she was only 12 years old, and she was self-harming and suicidal, and uh, no one was listening to her, so she really has a great story. Tonight at 5.30, I'll be joining anchor Keith Radford. We'll have a special town hall, half hour town hall on air, and we'll feature two mental health experts, Lynn Shine, she's a licensed mental health counselor, and Carl Shallowhorn, well known in our community as well. He's the chair of the Erie County Anti-Stigma Coalition. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. And that'll be tonight on 7ABC at 5.30, also on 7 Plus. And I'm just loving that we're able to do this. Thank you so much for joining us, Eileen, to chat about this. And yeah, let you know, we have nothing to be ashamed of or be scared of. It's just about knowing there are resources out there and our mental health is important. And so we're happy to bring you this Buffalo Strong conversation. It's really great. We're in this together, Western New York. We can get through it.